that your ordination does not only so prophetic ripples through the body of Christ, it also has a powerful statement on a macro level. We are living through a phase of civilization when the demonic influence of something called the religious spirit is perverting true religion. And one of the reasons that the religious spirit is working in such a way is to perpetuate the subjection of women. In the name of Islam, evil men, driven by the demonic fanaticism of the religious spirit, are seeking to control and dominate and subjugate and humiliate women. It is a horror. It is a blight on humanity made in the image of God. But before we are tempted to point our Christian fingers at all those bad, radical, Muslim, misogynist fanatics, First, we need to acknowledge that in the history of the Christian church, women have also been shamed and subjugated as both church policy and practice. We need to acknowledge that not all expressions of the Christian church are life-giving and safe for our Christian sisters, even in this day. Amelia, your ordination is a public renunciation of any religious justification for the subjection of women. We will not stand for it, nor will we let it stand. Here is what we will stand for. First, we will seek to emulate the ministry of Jesus, which particularly in, in, in Luke, in the context of Jesus' own day and culture, was a ministry that radically raised the status of women and outrageously empowered them for the work of the kingdom. That's what we'll stand for. Through you and with you, Amelia, we will stand for the gospel and for the power of the gospel to make all people equal. Now you, you understand that that's what the gospel does, right? The gospel of Jesus Christ makes us all equal. Because what the gospel of Jesus Christ makes us is miserable sinners, damned to hell, under the wrath of God, with no hope of redemption. And that's true of all of you who are men, that's true of all of you who are women, that's true of all of you who are young, that's true of all of you who are old, black or white or whatever your background, you're all going to hell. Of course, we will stand for the equality of the gospel, which says that for Jesus' sake, through the repentance of sin, our sins are forgiven. That each one of us is a child of the living God, cleansed of every blot, sin, iniquity, and perdition, righteous in the eyes of God through the righteousness of Christ, beloved in God's sight walking in his favor and destiny and eternally bound to his embrace forever. And that is also true whether you are a man or a woman, young or old, black or white. The gospel makes us all the same. And you will embody that and help our ministry proclaim that as we stand for that in this church. Finally, Amelia, you are a challenge to us to stand for the vision of the New Testament, which was the vision of a new creation and ultimately a new humanity. A new humanity that does not ignore the glorious distinctions between females and males. But at the same time, the eschatological reality of what is coming, the inbreaking of God's kingdom, the preview of the future that God is bringing begins today. Because the Holy Spirit has caught up His servant to proclaim the deeds of Almighty God who has brought us out of darkness and light. So dear friend, not only will you carry the heavy burden of the pastoral call, you will also carry this prophetic burden, that of your identity as a called and strong and competent woman. And that means that for your ordination, the body of Christ, and those of us who are here today represent that by Christ, we got to get our game on and step up. That's what it means. Because the Spirit of God has not only caught up and seized Amelia Hojek and gotten her into this holy mess, <laughs> but it also has seized all of us who love her 
know her, appreciate her, who have been part of her life, who have been recipient of her ministry, and who want to stand with her for everything that God has for her in her future. The Holy Spirit has gotten us into this holy mess too. So we are in this together. We are in this together. Say amen. 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 We are in this together. So I charge you, I'll charge her in a moment, I charge you, dear friends, that whenever you are inclined to pray for Brooklyn Park Lutheran Church, whether you're a part of this congregation or not, but whenever your heart seems to be tugged by the spirit of this direction, you pray for us and we so appreciate it. You remember us and we so cherish it. You even pray for the staff and the leadership and God knows we so need it. <laughs> And when you do that, that you begin with Amelia. Ask for God's favor to be on her constantly. Ask God to hide and protect her. He attacks her religious spirit. Ask God to make her bold in the freedom of the gospel and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Friends, a little coaching. Don't get caught up in fruitless debates on the role of women in general or the role of women in ministry in particular. People have their minds made up. They're not going to change it because you engage the debate. And remember, Amelia is not an issue to be debated. She's a pastor in Christ's own church. But instead, when you have a chance, tell those who might protest respectfully and with great understanding what you appreciate about her ministry. Challenge them to do something radical, like actually, I don't know, meet her. <laughs> sit under her ministry discern for themselves whether God is in it or not so do that okay here's another thing that I'm going to charge you to do encourage her give her a good steady stream of modest encouragement with the emphasis on the word modest <laughs> encouragement to say that Amelia is full of herself is saying way too much that's not true that's not but to say that Amelia doesn't lack confidence isn't quite enough. <laughs> so encourage her consistently, modestly, because she has a lot more to learn. We all do. Above all, let Amelia's ministry among us be a constant cause of thanksgiving, because the wind of the Spirit seizes, carries up, and deposits people wherever he wills. Amelia, we're so glad that the Holy Spirit deposited you here. You are a gift to this congregation. You are a pastor in the body of Christ. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it is now, it shall be forever, world without end. Amen. Amen.